Do I ever feel like Sisyphus? Yeah. Of course I do. I've been waiting for people to start saying like, oh, you put another picture of the sweat and of a squat rack. Really? But I don't know if they understand. <laughs> I've been getting on that squat rack and grinding it out for 25 years. And I'm not bored with it yet. It might seem like that's an unwinnable battle. But really, to me, it's not about winning. It's the battle itself. It's the struggle. It's the daily test. That's what life's about. Not just physically, but mentally. Getting that rock to the top of the mountain. That's not what my goal is. My goal actually is pushing the rock. Because pushing the rock, that pushes me. That makes me tougher. That makes me harder, mentally and physically. It gives me much more than I give it. I want to struggle. I want to grind and claw and scratch and I want to dig in and I want to push. And I don't want it to end. If I ever got the rock to the top of the mountain and it stayed there, I'd push it back down myself. I don't want to rest and I don't want to coast. And I don't want to reach a point in my life where I say, that's it. I've done enough. I'm not going to give anymore. I'm not going to push anymore. No. No. That relentless cycle of day-to-day -day challenges, they aren't maddening to me. They don't frustrate me. They inspire me. Inspire me to drive and push more and to push harder. That's what that rock does to me. So I say, dig in and get to push it. The path. The war path. A path of war. Moving toward a battle. A fight towards war. The actual war against our nation's enemies. Or the war against my own weaknesses. Preparing. And, and sharpening my sword and honing my skills and maintaining the unmitigated daily discipline in all things. Where does it lead? It, it can lead to war. That's fine. In fact, I am waiting. And I am ready. Because the warpath is a war against weakness. And so it leads to strength. It's a war against ignorance. And so it leads to knowledge. It's a war against confusion. And so it delivers understanding. The war path leads to control and leads to ownership of your life. And that is the war path. The path of fire and adversity. The path of blood and of sweat and of suffering. The war path is the preeminent path of discipline. Which is why it leads to freedom. And beyond that, in the end, 
the beats.